Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the Word Brothers. <laughs> and the weed even man. <laughs> In the background. That's right. That's right. But it's the weekend and we at the house. So this is what happens on weekends. People do their work. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they weekly chores around the house, right? So uh, today, we're going to get into a full rack of pork. As you can see, we got a lovely rack of pork here. And we're going to get into this, okay? All right, you got your ribs and you got the whole rack right here. You get that on there? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook ourselves up with compound butter. Compound butter, okay. That's what right. They, what does that consist of? Uh, butter, <laughs> rosemary, <laughs> and thyme. All right? And I might just hit it with them. You know, you like it a little spicy, so I, I might just sprinkle in maybe a few red pepper flakes or some, some type of, you know what I mean? But give it a little kick. Give it a little kick. So we gon' we gonna uh, get into this full rack of pork. All right. So first thing, like I told you, we gonna make a compound butter. We gonna pour this on in here. You know which one that is? It's time. Oh, you might know a little something then, huh? Well, what's this? I just told you what it was, so you only got two options. I don't know what that is. That's <laughs> rose. <man. laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is, I got it all poured in here. I'm going to mix it up real good. Uh oh And I'm going to get back to you, because I don't want to bore you with this part, okay? So when I come back, I have this all slathered up. You'll be able to see what's going on with it, all right? Catch you back in a minute, barbecue bourbon and blues with the word, brother. All right, welcome back, y'all. What we did while we were gone that I didn't want to bore you with was uh, I slathered this entire rack of pork with the, with compound butter. Okay. And I seasoned it up with a little heat he fries. He heat fries. fries. Garlic think, jalapeno. I'm thinking about the uh, football culture. Yeah, you thinking about, no, you talking Don about. Don Shula. Yeah, I was like, I was like, nah, he, 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 he used to play for quarter, Tennessee quarter, yeah, quarterback. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah back in the day. But uh, yeah, I slathered it all down. We gonna get this uh, on the on the smoker on our Oklahoma Joe drum smoker. Right. We gonna run it between uh, 250 and, and uh, 275. Okay. All right, until we reach the internal temp that we want. But before I get into that internal temp, I'll tell you that at the smoker, but I heard that we had a new sponsor today. Now we don't have a new sponsor. It's, our, it's us, period. The word brother slogan of the day is gonna be you might eat your fork when you taste this pork. That's about as good as I got for you today, <laughs> Yeah, that's about as good as I got for you today, You need bro. to take that one back to the drawing board. <laughs> well, but, uh, start you know, paying me a little bit more. Man, I pay you good, man. You see your check right there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to beat you down at the smoker at the Oklahoma Joe. Catch you in one second. All right, we're back down here at the smoker. We're about to get this rack of pork on our Oklahoma Joe drum, okay? So I'm just going to pick it up real easy. Lay it down. Ooh, you hear that? Nice little sizzle right there. Going to close that lid. Let it, do, let it do its thing, all right? What you got for me, bro? All right. We'll catch y'all back in a minute. Barbecue bourbon and blues with the word, brother. All right, we're back. Barbecue bourbon and blues on this Kansas City whooping the bingo Sunday. Well, I don't know about that. Well, you might as well get ready for it. I don't know about that. You might as well get ready for it. If it don't happen, I'm going to whoop you. But we're getting ready to get into his favorite be, part. <laughs> we're getting to the best part of the show. Yeah. Not the cooking. The, the bourbon sipping, all right? Today we got some Henry McKenna. This is Bottle and Bond single barrel, aged 10 years. This one is actually aged 11 years because it was uh, bottled in uh, 2000, uh, 2011, all right? As a matter of fact, June, on your birthday, June 21st. That, no, that's uh, why that's uh, a special bottle. This probably ain't hitting on nothing, but <laughs> so, nevertheless, me. nevertheless, all right. Yeah. It's rolling in at about nine, uh, 80, um, no, 50, maybe about 50% alcohol volume. So you know that's going to hit you with about a good 100 proof, you know what I'm saying? 
All right, that's a good one. So when you open it up, you're going to get some uh, aromas of uh, corn syrup, mm -hmm. uh, honey. That's going to be the main uh, main um, uh, aroma to the nose, all right? Okay. The deeper that you get as you sip and the deeper that you get, you're going to get some uh, fudge brownie taste, all right? Love me some fudge brownies. All right, now to the palate, mm -hmm. we're going to get into some things that you like some old toasted salted nuts. <laughs> you know they get a little toasted salted nut flavor. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> some oak. Some oak, you know, it's gonna get deep deep with oak. And it's also gonna, as I said, give you like a you get that uh dark chocolate. Dark chocolate taste at the end. At the end. Okay. All right. All right. Man, what is he doing? He's he wants to he uh, the block. Yeah. Huh? Man, what's his name? There I you thought go. you wanted to sip. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. As the finish, you're going to get hit with a little burn, all right? Because, you know, the the, the uh, proof is 100. It's going to be a little burn, but it's not going to be bad. You know, it's going to settle down and, as you say, get, a, as they say, a, a nice little chocolate uh, okay. flavor. All right. all right. Now, if you're a punk like him, you might want to add some water to it. Now, if you add a couple of drops of water to it, it's going to mute some of the aroma. But if you let it sit for a minute, the flavor that you get is going to be a milk chocolate flavor. Okay. All right? But All since right. we're not, since we not scared of it, no. we just going to hit it neat yeah. and straight up. All That's right? how I do. All right. Let's get into it. This is um, June 21st, 2011 bottle of Henry McKenna. All right. Come on. I'll check too fancy for you. You don't know how to get in. <laughs> oh, Lord, man. Oh, Lord, have mercy, man. Yeah, we might go to commercial break. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Bless is hard, y'all. You can't get, see, you can't get somebody. I'm going to get back to giving him the twist off the plastic <laughs> bottle check. Because he ain't here working forward with these good chicks. Here we go. There we go. Right, we're gonna let this thing breathe for a second. That's long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally a second. And since it's 100 proof, I ain't gonna give us our normal shout. Oh, so you so we now we now know who the punk is. <laughs> yeah, you can smell it. Smell yeah, it. I can definitely smell the um the honey and the uh, corn syrup. Mm-hmm. Smells smells pretty good. Yep. You sure you don't want a drop of water? No, I don't need no water. And in you may have a teardrop to drop in yours when you sip it. All right. All right, here we go. Go, Chiefs. Yeah, that's good right there. That's good. Why it's you all frowned up? Because it's got a slight burn on it, man. Mine didn't but, burn at all. Yeah, but it's nice, though. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely taste that, that dark chocolate, dog. Uh, at the, at the very end. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. All yeah. right, y'all. So we're going to get back into this Henry bottle. Henry McKenna, we're getting ready to get into the rest of some of this bottle and the game while that rack of pork is going, all right? We'll catch you back in a little bit. I told you, Skip. Well, field goals ain't going to win it. 14 to 3. <laughs> All right, so we're back down here at the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. Got our rack of pork on, okay? Um, it's sitting there. We want to get it to an internal temp of about 145, all right? So I'm going to lift it up. Oh, yeah, we looking good. Now, we put our foil on the bones, you know, the edge of the bones so they don't, you know, uh, get all dark and look ugly. And I don't want this to dry out. So I'm going to... Try and hit it with a look. Oh, no, I'm not either, because this is broke. All right, so I'm just going to sit there right there, and I go get a spray bottle, and I'm going to spray it down with a little apple juice, okay, so it can uh, finish up, okay? All right, so everything's looking good. We're going to get this up here. We'll cut a piece, let you see what it's looking like. Catch you back in a second. Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the Word Brothers. All right, welcome back. We're down here at the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. You know, we done a rack of pork today. We've reached our internal temp of 145. So I'm gonna get this thing up off of here and then we're gonna get up here and slice one of these chops off and taste it, all right? 
Here we go. All right. So we got that off of there. We're about to get up here. Let it. We're gonna let it rest for a few minutes, and we'll be right back to you, slicing the chop. Catch you in a second. All right, so we're back. Today we did a pork, uh, a whole rack, rack of, of pork. pork. All right, we got it. Put it on the smoker between 250 and 275. We ran it till we reached the internal temp of 145. All right, as you can see, we foiled the bones so they didn't get messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, and then we're gonna get to slicing. All right, it's rested. It's been resting. And now it's time to take us a piece. Taste test. Little taste test, that's right. All right. So we got that done. I'm take my old trusted knife here. Did you sharpen the knife, Sue? No, that ain't my job. Yeah, it is. All right, so <laughs> we just gonna slice into it right here. Cut that off. Then I'm gonna stand it up. Then we're just gonna cut down, straight down, just like so. Ooh, it's tender and juicy too. Use the shelf knife, man. Yeah, that's what I should've did. Cause you didn't do your job. All right. So we got that on there. Now we're gonna take us a piece. Man, I don't know where your hands been. <laughs> you ever trying to feed me? That's a man law violation. You can't feed me no food. <laughs> I do what I want to. All right. As you can see, it's nice and juicy. Like we said, we're going to take a bite, all right? Yeah, it is nice and juicy. Mm-hmm. No. That's delicious, y'all. The jalapeno um, garlic grub is good on it. And that butter with that butter. That compound butter and everything, yeah, it's all coming through nicely. All right. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. What you want to do is go check out some of our other videos. All right. You're gonna want to check out how to tread. You find out how to trim a spare rib, turn it into St. Louis style. You can check out one of our sauces videos, or you can check out the World Series. All right. Filipino street food and other things like that, and tailgate series. All right. So make sure you check that out before you, you know, after you leave this video, go check that one out, all right? Definitely. All right. All right, let's get, let's get, get back get, to this get game. Get back to the games. All right, knock this out, though. Catch, 